really quick side note before I do my second poem. Uh, when people do poetry, it's not a debate round. So you, you don't have to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feed off your energy, so the fact that y'all were like, eh, made me uncomfortable too. So, <laughs> this next poem is uh, a poem that I've been working on for a year and I've been trying to perfect it every time I revise it. And this is my newest revision. This is the first time I'm doing it on the stage, and I feel like it's the safest place to do it with my other five family. So, uh, this is going to be an emotional journey for me and hopefully all of us. So, I hope you guys enjoy this one. I don't have it memorized because it's relatively new. So, here we go. Yeah! Dear baby, I haven't quite decided a name for you yet because. Titles only exist in the existed, but boy or girl, you've already made daddy so proud. Every day that goes by without you around brings back the death that visited mommy and I that night when hopelessness came to us and won too many drinks. We were both known as bad choices, but in this case, two wrongs made a right because we made you. Baby, that's not what God wanted. They say if two beautiful people make love, the offspring will stick out on the family tree as a rotten branch. So baby, I'm sorry, but this equation has an inverse. Despite our looks, mommy and I had ugly insides, making you acquire all of our recessive genes, making you perfect. Yeah. And baby, that's not what God wanted. So God told mommy now was in your time embedded in her cherry stem. But baby, whether you're a boy or a girl, you're twice the man I or anyone I've ever been acquainted to will ever be. Because you face something head on that most men cut off fingers in the draft to avoid. Well, most men squirm their way out of at the cost of another man's life. Death, baby, this world didn't want you because we're all too messed up here on earth for the presence of such a being. You live here in the land where we abort decisions intoxicated by love. We aren't ready for you to come along and revolutionize. We aren't ready to accept one God. We aren't ready to speak when our throats go dry. We aren't ready to accept a black president. We aren't ready to love a white rapper. We are ready for you, hope. <laughs> yes, hope. In my agnostic beliefs, you symbolize the elusive Jesus because here you are giving up the life that I and Ian gave to you to save me. And I'm sorry. Hope this world would have never accepted you because I couldn't find the money to support it. You grow up poor yet still find a reason for living. Even at the point where a gun whispers to you how much time you got left. And if it was just seconds before the line went flat, you'd still love your daddy. Hope I know this because I still love you. I still believe in you. Hope you found a way to make an impact on this earth without ever stepping foot on it. Your footprints are ghosts who are caught in a world of lifeless purgatory. You changed me, Hope. Now you're my guardian angel, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you never understood what a birthday was. I'm sorry that you never made friends at school. And I'm sorry the first feeling you ever felt was the cold metal of a hanger. These apologies, tra apologies translated to nothing until you've looked into the eye and wide eyes of a baby, knowing it will never blink again because it is dead. But hope, never think you weren't loved. Because I felt you kicking in mommy's tummy, and we spoke through beats. And I hope we didn't get lost in translation. So when I told you that I loved you, you heard every last word. Finally, hope. I'm sorry that your first breath was death. Thank you.